All right, that's Oyster Point Pier. This is my raft, and that's the San Francisco Bay. So uh, yeah, halibut fishing. Never really tried it. I tried it once with a Buddha fishing outside of a Alameda, the Alameda Rock Roll, and uh, it was still early in the season. It's April now, and I know that the uh, the bite heats up. Uh, I think May, June, July. That's when they they really move up. So uh, from everything I read online, and again, I'm kind of new to this, but um, I'm told that you know halibut are outside of the bay in the winter months, and when it heats up, they move from the south northward so I'm in the uh, Brisbane area and uh, I read online this is a great place to start uh, spring halibut fishing because everything warms up and uh, in these shallows here and uh, if you stay close to shore you have a good shot at catching one with a crippled anchovy rig and uh, that's what I'm running today so I've got my frozen anchovies uh, didn't have time to to source any live bait but I do have my uh, trolling setup right here it's an eight foot Shimano Terramar with an Avid MXJ and uh, let me rig this guy up and uh, I'll show you how I do that in just a second this is the uh, bouncing ball halibut rig so basically you got your main line to a three-way uh, clip right here right main line comes to here I'm using 50 pound braid this is about 18 inches of fluoro here and then from here I'll run a 40 inch leader or so like 30 pound mono to this uh, flasher otherwise known as a dodger and uh, it spins in the water as it moves through the water column and it hugs the bottom you know between a foot or two and that's really the strike zone of the halibut and I've got an 18 inch leader here hooked up to a crippled anchovy hood so you stick one of these frozen anchovy bodies into this hood um, you set the hooks you know two hooks max amount of hooks you can use in the bay is three of course and uh, as it spins you want to go about one and a half to two miles an hour as it spins through the water this weight keeps this whole setup uh, you know within the strike zone of the halibut since they're bottom fish they hug the bottom and um, they you know are opportunistic uh, kind of surprise attack predators so they come up and uh, grab the anchovy only you know they, they feed their strike zone is about two feet off the bottom so that's what this whole assembly does it keeps a lot of action close to the bottom and uh, I'm gonna rig up an anchovy and drop it down and we'll see if we have any luck can you hear that plane yeah, it's pretty loud here. About uh, 40 minutes in since uh, touching the water. Had a line in about eh, 20 minutes or something like that. First time here uh, trolling for halibut outside of uh, Oyster Point, which is um, directly behind me somewhere in the distance. So, you know, I've seen a halibut caught at the Alameda Rock Wall, and I've seen them caught um, outside of Oyster Point, only on YouTube. Actually, I've seen a halibut caught outside of the uh, Alameda Rock Wall um, Budo Fishing. And uh, I'm actually marking a lot of stripers um, kind of in the middle of the water column. If you look here, I'm at exactly 14 feet. And uh, they seem to be stacked like around six to eight feet. So I've actually seen a couple clouds of them, which is pretty interesting. Look, there's a big blob right here. Hopefully that's being picked up on the camera. Yeah, right about 10 feet. So I don't know if a uh, halibut don't want to bite my stuff. Uh, maybe I'll mix it up and throw a couple hair razors or a couple of um, those halibut kind of squid jigs that you've seen out in the Pacific Ocean that guys uh, tend to jig with so um, mixing it up uh, I'm only here for for like four hours something like that it's an incoming tide um, I got here right at the beginning of it so high tides at 12 it's about 8 o'clock right now 8 30 so I think the best bite is yet to come and uh, hopefully I can put something on for you guys so fingers crossed <laughs> yeah, got one. Woo! All right. Sweet. All right, gang. So I was trolling, right? And uh, I saw my my rod go off a little bit. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like a crazy hit or anything. And then I saw some bouncing, and then it kind of stopped, and then more bouncing, and then it stopped. 
And so I, I went over to uh, my rod, pulled it up, and I couldn't see where the, the little minnow or the anchovy was. And uh, I took a look. Sure enough, I see some color. All right. Check that out. <laughs> first little short. I think it was my first halibut ever. It's a short. Uh, you need to uh, make sure they're 22 inches long. This is way short, but uh, I don't know. About about 14, something like that. So let's let's show you the colors here. So this is a uh, California halibut. You can tell by the spots. Um, he needs to be a couple pounds bigger and a few inches longer uh, in order to keep. But all right. My uh, bottom jig and uh, crippled minnow is working. Okay, so these guys are notoriously feisty and uh, with all the hooks and everything um, flailing around on my inflatable, I'm always, oh. All right, he bounced back in the water. Didn't catch from this angle, but I wanted to show you guys some cool stuff. This is what he spit up. Uh, right as he came up uh, so this gives you an idea of course uh, what the the forge is here uh, out in the bay outside of oyster point so we got some little bitty bits of shrimp hopefully that's coming through oh hopefully that's coming through little bits of shrimp um, here's a little what I think is like a little baby smelt something like that pretty cool and uh, here's a, a bigger a bigger shrimp Hopefully that comes through too. Yeah, so, yeah, just uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, so he, he took like half of that anchovy and then the uh, crippled anchovy rig did its thing. Kind of has like a sliding hook on the hood. The hood slides back and forth, so once they commit to the hook, um, you know, the, the hood kind of slides away and when they fight and set the hook themselves, you know, you're trolling about one and a half, two miles an hour. So, you know, well, once they bite, they're kind of hooked. Um, the, the hood slides out of the way and, um, you know, the two hooks can do their job, so awesome. Yeah, I think this is like the first uh, fish on the on the fish hunter in quite a long time, so pretty stoked. Yeah, so maybe I'll catch a bigger one next. Yeah. Round two. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Got one. I wonder if he's good size. Uh, feel some kicks. Let's see if he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. Okay, shut off the motor. If he's a keeper. Okay, we, we're locked in. No more drag for you. Feels a little better. A little better. He might be the same size. Okay, definitely somebody on. Okay, let's see. So we're working with. Okay, yeah, about the same size. Yeah, a lot of a lot of shorts around here. Awesome. Number two. Man, as soon as I put the camera down, got another one. All right, fish number two. Yeah, wind's kicking up. I don't think I'm gonna stay here too much longer. Kind of my first time. Kind of the first time I'm getting fish out here. But you know, I'm in a little raft, and I don't want to stick around if you know I'm not supposed to. I don't want to stick around if Mother Nature's telling me to go away. Uh, let's see. Dude, I don't even know how I'm supposed to. Oh. I don't even know if, how I'm supposed to handle these guys. All right. Hey, a little bigger. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, you know, 
yeah I don't think it's gonna keep but yeah it's about 18 something like that but they're getting bigger I definitely felt the weight of this one when it bit uh, took out some line and uh, not big enough but but getting bigger I'm getting pretty excited all right got to keep this uh this thing <laughs> away from the raft cuz man that hook point goes into the side I am done Woo. number two still number two yeah when he was uh when we were talking earlier he jigged up a herring um you know there's like 55,000 smelt and I think one herring and so he called it he said he was gonna get something on that herring yeah, you know, if you kept jigging, you probably would have caught another halibut. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, well, uh, yeah, so that's two for me, two for him. Um, I think I'm going to start heading in pretty soon. And, um, yeah, well, thanks for sticking around. Super stoked to get um, two real fish on the uh, raft that he didn't catch and hand over. So that's pretty nice of him to uh, to, to come out and, and uh, give me company today. And look, we've got a new halibut spot. So. I think next time I come out here, I'm gonna aim for uh, some um, less windier days because it's pretty hectic right now. My, my raft's working overtime just to just to stay uh, planted, just to stay uh, on, on track. So, yeah, halibut, Fish Hunter 360. It was awesome. Peace. <laughs>